Hay fever. Hay fever is the most common of allergies. It can be caused by seasonal pollens, grasses, or plants. Hay fever can also be year-round, caused by substances found around the house such as mold spores, dust mite feces, cockroach feces, and pet dander. The symptoms of hay fever affect the nose, eyes, and airways. They include an inflamed nose, sneezing, a runny nose, and nasal congestion, itchy, red, and teary eyes, swelling of the eyelid or conjunctiva, and a mucus discharge, inflamed and narrowed airways, trouble breathing, or asthma attacks. The best way to deal with hay fever is to avoid or minimize your exposure to the trigger. Let's focus on the common allergens that trigger hay fever, pollen, mold spores, dust mite feces, cockroach feces, and pet dander, and discuss tips to minimize your exposure to each of them. For pollen, stay indoors on dry and windy days and between 5 a.m. and 10 a.m. when the pollen count is highest. Keep your windows closed and avoid mowing the lawn. Wash your hair after spending a day outdoors. When it comes to mold spores and other fungal spores, keep in mind that they like to grow in moist places. To minimize moist places from your home, make sure that you properly ventilate bathrooms and remove any rotting wood. Use bleach and water to clean mold and use a dehumidifier to eliminate dampness and moist air. To prevent dust mite feces from accumulating, keep your bedroom clean. Use a mattress protector, wash your sheets, and avoid using down pillows or down comforters. Vacuum and replace your carpeting with smooth surfaces such as hardwood floors. To prevent cockroach feces from accumulating, keep the house clean of food scraps and take the garbage out. If you own a pet, you should minimize your exposure to your pet's dander by using a high efficiency particulate air filter or HEPA filter, keeping your pet away from your bedroom, giving your pet a weekly bath, washing your pet's bedding, and replacing carpets with smooth surfaces like wood. By taking steps to avoid these allergens, you may successfully weed out the root of your hay fever. But if you're still experiencing hay fever symptoms, you may want to look into the variety of allergy treatments available. We will discuss these treatments in another video.